Good morning, everybody. Actually, it's like 1.30 in the afternoon. We slept in this morning, pretty late. Woke up at eight o'clock, had to turn the heater back on. By the way, last night was the first night we used our Olympian Wave 6 catalytic heater. Worked really well. We had it on low and it was like heating the place up really well. It's just, you can't leave it on overnight because there's no thermostat. So you get it up to a certain temperature and you shut it off. And then hopefully the insulation keeps it warm enough until the morning. And then I turn it back on before we get up. But the result of turning it back on meant we slept an extra four hours. So you can walk over here or you can go around here. That's okay. what's open. This that. part's closed. Okay, that's probably too hard anyways. Yeah. Yeah. It's pushe. Yeah, it's cold. It's cold. Ovaj, sa istim ulaznicama se može vidjeti ova prekrasna tvrđava ovdje kaštio pored crpe svetog vlaha. Odmah tu u stolu vidjet ćete gore sa zida. Okoliko okay. je? 70? E, tako je, za vas je evo jedno djete ću naplatiti, to je 170 kuna. 170, Some of you have asked if it's cold right now. I mean it's cold for us because we chase 70 degree weather. We've been failing pretty badly lately so right now the temperature around this part of Croatia which is in the southern part is anywhere between oh I don't know when you go inland a little bit you see teens at night like 18 17 and then the high I've seen in the towns around here isn't higher than I don't know, 45 is probably the highest I've seen. So, it's not terrible. I know it's uh, much colder in other places, but it's definitely not flip-flop weather. But check this out, as you can tell, we're on this, uh, this stone wall here. In fact, the name of this town is called Stone, S-T-O-N. They were walking on this wall that was built back in the 1300s and it's one of uh, Europe's oldest 
if not the oldest fortification defensive walls. Uh, Stone is a town that's been around for a couple thousand years, I think. I want to say like 100 or 200 BC is when they have uh, records of people settling here. Or at least Europeans anyways. This is closed, I think, right now. But that would be a pretty strenuous hike up there. We're going to be able to go up this one, down to the other side, and come out. And this is the town of stone that's completely protected within these stone walls. And what they're also famous for is uh, is like a salt pool over there because they have the sea water over here and then fresh river coming out. So they're able to produce salt back in the day. And as you guys may know, back in the day, pre-refrigeration, salt was a very important commodity. Part of building this wall was to defend this town and also uh, defend their salt production facility. So last night, we slept in a gravel lot just outside the town of Stone in a neighboring town called Molly Stone. This morning we uh, made breakfast, actually more like lunch. What? And then I took water from the cemetery across the street. Filled up one of our jugs. Yes, Luca? Up this wall, and we could see like an entire city. Yeah, there's a town of stone. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. I'm gonna go get some water at the Tommy or something. We're almost to the top. We're almost to the top of the short wall. We did it. Oh, you can keep going. Let's keep going. Yeah, that's the little fortress right there that we're gonna get into or, or later with our tickets. Can you see our car? Our car is right oh, there. As you can tell, people aren't really touring this town in the middle of January. But you can tell this is really a popular tourist town because there's like all the parking places you have to pay for. Except where we parked last night, it's a gravel lot, but it's across the street from a, from a paid lot. There's signs everywhere in town showing people what things are. So I bet it's a pr pretty popular touristy place in the summertime. And plus we're only like maybe 50 miles from Dubrovnik. I'm sure a lot of people when they come here go from Dubrovnik to far. They pass or, through here, you think? Yeah, they pass through Well, when here. they go to Korchula, they go yeah. from here to the ferry right there that takes you to Korchula. Downhill from here. There's no stairs. And then do we walk uphill? No, then we're done. we're done. We'll go down and we'll walk past, you know, the city. Can you imagine what this place was like before they added the railing? You'd just be walking alongside this steep stone wall. more of these holes where you can like stick your gun out and shoot at your enemies. What are you looking at? Big soldier. That's it. That's pretty much all of the stone wall that we can walk on this time of year. But 
we get to go down to uh, the little fortress in the corner of the town. And uh, hopefully there's more stuff to see in there. It's ridiculous how steep that is. It's like going straight up. It's not, it's not even a walkway anymore. It's like more like an elevator. In the summer, you can go up there. That's the worst. And it's really narrow and dangerous, too. Got the baby Ooh. What? They didn't plug this one up. What does it's that still mean? open. Sometimes they plug it up so people can't shove stuff in there. Some trash. For the five of us, it would have cost 70 kuna per adult, which is about 11, 12 dollars. And then for the kids, it was supposed to be half price, but they only charge us for one kid. So we well actually charge us 30 kuna for one kid. Two of the kids got to go for free, so we paid 170 kuna. And it's just a loop what? around the tower. Oh my god, there's so many birds. Oh my god. Look at the screams. Were they all we sitting there? They were expecting no, then they all flew. Look at the They're gonna poop on us. So yeah, it's like 170 kuna that we pay to do this tour. Basically self-guided, there's nobody to show you around. But I think it's worth it. It's fun to just get up on top of that castle wall and look at the view. Yeah, here's Molly Stone. So this is how, this is where we entered. This is like... We, we did this loop right here. And then now we're here. We're going to go check out this fort. Normally you can walk all the way up here to Molly Stone. Molly Stone, this is where we, uh, right here is where we stayed the night last night. In this parking lot over here. But I guess this is to the very top. This is that super steep one to the very top. It doesn't look like you can walk it anyways. Pops? Yeah. I really want to talk about it right now. <laughs> Me too. Okay, let's go. What's inside this fortress? Pop auto! And the, t the tortillas don't taste like this good. Are you still, are you still are you talking about? Can you open it? Yeah, I am. I am. Yeah. That was our short little tour of the town of Stone. We're gonna pack up and leave now and try to make our way closer to Dubrovnik where we'll probably spend a couple of days, maybe more. In the winter time, there's not much sun. We better get packed up and ready on the road so we don't have to drive in the dark. That's all I got for the day. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Guys, do the, do the baby soldier dance.